Hey friends. Um, so today it's, it's kind of cool because this is the first time that we've had a repeat uh, guest. Uh, so George, you're the very first one. So awesome. Thank you. I'm honored. Thank you for having me. Knowing me and my low tech um, video skills, I'll probably have like confetti or something going off or just like a congratulations pop up okay. on the screen. But, but thank you very much for being here today. Um, so we're talking about season three of George Goes Everywhere. And it's funny because last time we talked, like I think you were still like tentative. You weren't so sure if there was a season three or not. Right. And then, yeah. and, here, and here we are, which is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it's uh, uh, exciting. Unless you already knew, but you couldn't say anything. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> I would have told you. All right. Uh, so the first two episodes are out already. Uh, you go to Las Vegas and San Francisco uh, in both of these episodes. Um, what I'll, I'll probably put in like a quick clip for those that haven't don't know what the show is about. But it's basically um... it's George goes everywhere. We I go to the city and I see how much fun I can have without spending more than a hundred dollars. And so we try to hit maybe you know six, seven different places, um, different activities. You know, kind of um, a variety of different activities in in a given city, and uh, try to have as fun as we can. That's right. Uh, yeah. But you actually do that do less than that in one of these episodes which we'll talk about in a minute. uh yeah yeah it's it's not uh i don't necessarily have to hit a hundred dollars i think in vegas i think i hit a hundred on the nose san francisco i don't even think i went to a hundred so yeah it's, it's uh kind of whatever the uh the city dictates uh-huh and then there's like a in, in las vegas what what you did this time what was kind of cool was you were since you're in a city that's all about betting you basically were flipping a coin to see which locations you were going to go to um yeah. so let, let our um let I guess our, our watchers or whoever's watching this know a little bit about that episode and how did you come up with that concept of just doing that? that flipping the uh, well, in, in each city, I try to, you know, come up with like a theme that's, you know, or something unique to that city um, or, you know, uh, something that speaks to, you know, its history or its culture or something like that. And Vegas, of course, is all, you know, about gambling. And so, you know, flipping a coin isn't necessarily gambling, but it it, it does introduce an element of randomness to things. And so that just kind of felt appropriate for Vegas. And um, it was also kind of a fun way of like, even though I didn't fo you know, show it in the episode, listing other things that you could do that would be fun if you're in Vegas. Um, you know, like for the, the Neon Museum, which I didn't go to in the episode, but it's still a really cool thing to go to in Vegas. And so I was kind of able to list things other than what I went to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you gave, you gave a lot of people more options this time. Right, um, yeah. And then, but were you like, after like you flipped the coin, were you like, damn it, I really wanted to go to the other place, but let, let's try this one instead. Uh, no, I think I, I was pretty lucky, I think, with the coin, a couple of them. I, uh, I was hoping for some of them and uh -huh. I got them. And so uh, I, I, was, I was pretty lucky. So there was no like, ah, damn, there, <laughs> there were no moments like that, thankfully. Okay. Um, I know that the, the, um, the donut shop that you went to, was um, them donuts were pretty amazing and they looked really good. Uh, and then you said that you want to try to get more donuts on the show. Is that something that we'll probably see? I I, I don't know. I it, it'll be hard to top those donuts because they were you know couture donuts. Yeah. And like and that's that's not an exaggeration. They are really high end intense donuts and that, uh -huh. they're um that they're not messing around. So it'll be it'll be tough to to beat that. But I know that. Donuts are donuts are having a moment in this country right now. I feel like I feel like you know donut shops and like specialty donuts are are kind of uh, popping up all over the place. And so I, I I donuts had been on my radar for a little bit. So I was glad to be able to get it into this episode. Nice. Are we will we see like a spinoff show like George does donuts? <laughs> <laughs> if Million Stories wants it, I'll do it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Well, there are some cool shops here in Chicago if you ever come through. Oh yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know. But yeah, there's a, a an, an Ube donut that we just had recently which was uh amazing and yeah they're like a couple blocks from our house so oh really it's it's dangerous <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous they're, they're too good uh and then in the second episode that was up on uh, you went to san francisco and this one you hit like 83 dollars, which is kind of cool because you did show us a lot of free places to go to um i, I went to san francisco for years ago and i wish i would have seen this because i would have tried to attend some of these places uh, but what was like your favorite moment uh, uh, in San Francisco? Uh, I, I figure it might be the wine, um, the wine tasting. Uh, I mean, yeah, the wine tasting was great that day because the, the people there were super cool. It uh -huh. was, um, and it's just you know, it's it, I love showing kind of small businesses like that, and you know that was just um, two women. They had been sommeliers for years at at restaurants, 
and they just you know kind of went to business, opened up their own uh, wine bar. And it, you know, I love being able to showcase businesses like that, kind of mm -hmm. uh, people, entrepreneurs, um, and you know, encouraging people to to frequent their their establishments. And so they were super cool. Yeah, I love that. Um, also, I mean, I, th that episode has my favorite intro of any episode that I've ever made, which is on the Sewer Street slides. It's just a big concrete slide um, built into the side of a hill, just in this little tiny little park in a residential neighborhood. And just you get a piece of cardboard and just go sliding down that uh, <laughs> that slide. And it was actually really fun. And that's how I intro the episode. And it's one of my favorite intros. But nice. uh, yeah, we were there. We shot what we needed to shot and then we kind of kept going down a few more times because it was fun <laughs> why not i mean while you're there have fun totally you know? yeah enjoy it yeah now see that's something i would love to try to try try to do if i ever go up there and it was was the cardboard just laying around or you just had a like find your I, own I, I had brought cardboard with me but there was cardboard laying around someone oh, had nice. just left it there for for others to use and i didn't <laughs> say when i left i left my cardboard so that others might use it pay it forward awesome yeah awesome um yeah, I mean, th th um, I know last time we talked, it was just you and your producer um, filming everything. Has anything changed since, like, I guess you kind of say it, the world has kind of opened up a little more since uh, since last? Yeah, it has opened up more, um, but nothing's changed. No, it's still just um, me. It's two of us, just myself and um, uh, my field producer, Avalon. And uh, it's just the two of us, and we're kind of a, a run and gun operation, and we just shoot everything i i've usually i usually shoot things selfie style but uh -huh. um sometimes she uh is is the the camera camera operator for me uh -huh. um but then yeah then we come back and then i edit them and uh then it's yeah kind of a a, a small operation cool well, um from i guess from from beginning stage till when it's finally edited on and placed and posted on uh, millionstories.com like how long is that process uh this was um it's a, it's a few months um i think we, when when did we shoot this we shot this in i think like september and october okay um so yeah it's a few months uh just getting all the the post production done and uh you know when moon stories you know decides to to air it sometimes it'll be finished but then they won't air it for you know a little bit depending on kind of what their uh airing schedule is but yeah for us it's usually uh you know a few months after we finish shooting it Nice. Thank you. Um, I know in this city, in this time you did, um, I think it's like seven cities. Would you ever go back to like another a city that you already covered, like because you wanted to do something else there or are there other things that you might have saw that you didn't do the first time? Yeah, I actually um, for if we do a fourth season, one of the episodes I'm pitching is doing just a Brooklyn episode. Uh, we did a New York episode, but I think doing just a Brooklyn episode could uh -huh. also work. And uh, frankly, I think doing a second Chicago one could, you know, could work. I mean, because I, I love Chicago and, you know, it's it's such a big city, you know, like New York is um, that, you know, there's no shortage of things to do. So I think, you know, you can you can definitely double up on some places, I think. Yeah. And then also, too, I think in Chicago, I think you use like a good uh, portion of your budget on the, the Cubs game. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of the. So now you'll have more, I guess, to, to more, more, more freedom a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you can go to the donut shop if you come back. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Um, okay. Um, what am I going to say now? Now I, um, I got lost a little train of thought, but um, we, I want to do a quick word association with you, if that's all right. Okay. Um, yeah. So I know that um, only two episodes are up right now, and I'm going to ask you about those, but for every, like the city that you go to, give us like one thing that was your favorite about the episode that that's going to air so that way you know we get people that are watching get that anticipation going and hopefully they'll be like okay i want to see what, what he meant by that word okay. um, so uh los angeles lightsaber <laughs> oh yeah as you can tell i'm, I'm already yeah. excited about that <laughs> um, <laughs> las vegas ice san francisco Hill. <laughs> um, Seattle. Treehouse. Austin. Chickens. <laughs> and then uh, Portland. Uh, 
Portland. Uh, uh, Rip City. Rip, like R I P. Yeah. Or, okay, I thought ribs. I was like, oh wait, yeah. Uh, Rip City. There's two words, but Rip City. Well, I'm we'll trying to be serious here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. So I mean, um, I now see now you got me even more Pete because like I, I saw the trailer for the, the season, so I I, I could kind of see some of those things on yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think um, I did see the ice that you talked about, but now I'm like even more curious. So. Yeah, I think yeah. most of, most things like most of the things I said in there are probably in the trailer. You could probably uh, pick pick them out. Yeah. All right, so that means we have to like hide the trailer so people, won't. <laughs> but then we don't want to do that because we want people to watch. Uh, uh, if there is a season four, hopefully there's a season four uh, of the cities that you haven't gone to yet, or of the states that you haven't gone to yet. Where would you? What would be like the three that would be at the top of your list to visit? Um, I, well, I've not been to anywhere in Florida yet. So, you know, Miami, uh, Tampa slash St. Petersburg, uh, even Orlando, uh, but then also uh, DC and Baltimore are cities I've not been to, um, or Ohio, Cleveland, Cincinnati, um, or even into, uh, I know I'm, I'm giving you more than you asked for <laughs> that's, here. That's okay. Uh, but, uh, and into Canada, like Toronto and Montreal would be no brainers, I think. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'll be definitely, and then and then you can use like the um, the the scheme that you learned in um, that one episode, right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the scheme that I learned in Denver in uh, in Canada. Yeah, there you go. we'll see if it transfers over. <laughs> right. That'd be awesome. Um, but I mean, I, I, again, um, the show is it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm always telling my friends like when they're telling me they're going somewhere, I'm like, you need to check out the show because you never know if you're going to be in the area for one of these things. Uh, and it's 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 such a great like I don't want to say like a learning tool, but it's it's just such a great little thing to have to just catch because you know there's always like the touristy places to go to, but something like this is just like it's off that beaten trail, the beaten right. trail, and it's yeah, it's a I, lot of I fun. Do. Yeah, um, yeah, and then, so I mean, is there anything that that would you ever like bring someone with you like on camera to do like like to see like to get their experience to, with? with you i guess you're saying I mean, yeah I, i'd be open to that i mean uh in uh this season we have some uh guests in in the episodes um uh in some of the activities um in the the la episode um where i said lightsaber as my word association um i, ne I needed a let's just say i needed a a partner and so we had uh, <laughs> some some other uh, some some friends join us nice Nice. Yeah. Um, man, I'm so curious now. I want to see that lightsaber thing. I, I, I want to know what it's about, but I, I, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till it airs um, like everybody else. That's uh, uh, LA, which is, I think LA is, it comes out soon. I think LA is oh. next, I think actually. So. And then the, the episodes come out as um, weekly. Uh, it's every, every Tuesday on millionstories.com and also on the million stories YouTube channel, which is million stories media on YouTube. All right. Awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. I mean, they have like so much here, but I'm like, <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's like again, again, it's it's a lot of fun, and there's so much to talk about. And then right now, I'm kind of realizing I think we're both dressed the same as we did last time we talked to each other. So I could probably just combine the videos into you one. Probably could. I, I have like three <laughs> shirts that I wear, so it's. And I'm always there. in black, so it's yeah, it'd be it'd be <laughs> perfect. It'd be perfect. Um, the pinball museum. Yeah. How many, I mean, how many games did you play while you were there? I mean, obviously you only played two, but like afterwards, did you go back and play some more or is it just what you filmed? Um, it's basically what I filmed. Maybe, you know, there might've been one or two extras that I, I, I might've played some ski ball that, that didn't make it to camera. Um, or, or, but um, I don't think it was too much more than what you saw on camera. Um, you know, it's, it's sometimes we have to, you know, to get shots, you know, maybe I have to play the game twice to get the shots we need. Right. Um, you know, you got to cheat a little bit just to get the, the yeah. content. Uh, but um, yeah, I think I was about uh, what you saw on camera. But yeah, that place is that place is crazy. It's enormous, and it's it's right by the um, right close, pretty close to the strip. Actually, you can walk to it from like Mandalay Bay. Okay, and and, and I know it's going to be hard to find because it's like it's, there's like no obvious signs to let you know. No, it's no, a, it's very it's hidden. A pinball museum. It, it does not have a gigantic sign in uh written on across the entire side of the building no not at all <laughs> and it, is, is pinball wizard like playing constantly in that place or no <laughs> it should be but no it's just it's 
it's just a big, like almost like a warehouse building, just full of pinball machines. It's that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I love playing pinball, and then uh, seeing that, I'm like, I know I'd be, I, I'd probably have to spend the whole day there. Yeah, and maybe I go back and go back. All these like vintage machines and just stuff from the '50s and just uh, real old stuff and modern stuff and stuff you'd you know recognize from when you were a kid and stuff you know our our parents would recognize from when they were kids. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's like the whole the, history. Yeah, like that that um that foot massaging thing. I think that's <laughs> that's, that's like so bizarre looking. It's so weird. It's it's. I mean, that's yeah. That's something my my father would probably recognize that it was it was like from the 50s and it's just <laughs> it's just a weird thing they built it probably just because they could i guess i don't know but yeah i mean uh like if you look at like the 1950s like all the machines that they had they were like just like so out there but yeah i guess that was like you know if you had a nickel why yeah, not yeah do it but they're all like then they're you know they're made out of like you know cast iron so they're still working and they're they're at the, yeah. the pinball place in Vegas. <laughs> um, I, and I, I want to really, really quick, um, the, the fortune cookie place. How, how many cookies did you actually eat while you were there? <laughs> or... um, they gave you one when you went in. Uh -huh. um, and I mean, I, I didn't want to, I mean, I, you, you could have just kind of grabbed, I think, more. I, they were not terribly uh, uh, precious over the fortune cookies because <laughs> they have thousands of them everywhere. Right. Um, but I bought the bag there and uh we we ate some of them we actually uh we me and avalon we didn't finish them we had the bag we had a couple each but then we didn't finish them so we gave them to one of our uber drivers actually and and That's he took them and he's like we're like you want fortune cookies he's like yeah and he took them <laughs> yeah i i've went i have gone to san francisco and we have walked around chinatown um but i did not know about that place and i'm yeah, so surprised that whoever was with me didn't tell me so i'm excited yeah, <laughs> really tiny place just kind of in this uh almost like side alleyway and yeah if you didn't know about it you'd miss it right so yeah that's how to make a trip so see and that's the thing too you're you you give a lot of good places to go to so if i remember in them i have to um keep the url of your website on my phone so i could just <laughs> hit that tab and be like wait right. what city am i in and i yeah. think everyone should do that. that's a, a good little hack i guess for everyone that's <laughs> That watches your show. I mean, I'm for it. That's a good idea. Everyone keep the URL handy. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. No, is it eight? Um, no, wait. Six shows. Six. Um, six shows six coming episodes, out. Yeah. Six cities. I'm sorry. I like have like, like I said, I have scribbles here, so I'm trying to read everything. Um, but again, everyone should check out the show. Um, George goes everywhere. Billingstories.com. I mean, it's, it's a, again, it's a great show to watch, a lot of cool, fun things to do. Um, and I, I just can't wait for more. I mean, I hope we could, I hope there's more. I hope so. From, uh, from your lips to million stories years. <laughs> I don't know how, how, how much, how much uh, influence I have, but, you know, hopefully they'll be like, yeah, that, that fan guy's, fan dad's guy has got something going. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> but, but thank you very much for your time, George. I think we're, I think we're past over our time, but I mean, I, I've had fun with this. And um, uh, thanks for having me. It's been yeah, a pleasure. Definitely. If you ever come to Chicago, yeah, I'll show you that donut spot. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you like what you watch, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit the like button. Share it with your friends, family, if you think they'll be interested in watching what we do. And check us out on our website. Again, thank you very much for watching. Bye.